My top 10 reason number two is, it's all happening at once and this time it's global. So there's more stuff per person than at any time in history but the same amount of gold and competing currencies and other assets have diluted gold's purchasing power. Today there's 200 times more wealth stored in these competing assets than there is in gold and if only 10% of that wealth comes chasing gold, its price will rise 20-fold. And in the crisis I see coming, it's going to be a lot more than just 10%. The world is now in uncharted territory. Budget deficits, trade deficits, and government debt have ballooned to lethal levels. Real estate, stocks, and bonds are all in bubbles, and the credit, debt, and derivatives bubbles threaten to take down the world economy. It took years to create these bubbles, but it will only take days or weeks for them to burst, and all bubbles eventually burst. In the inevitable crash and currency crisis that are bearing down on us, most trusted investments will probably evaporate while gold and silver are pushed into hyperbubbles. Because when it comes to greed and fear, fear is by far the more powerful emotion, and in a crisis, fear is what drives investors. Today there are 10 times the people, each with 10 times the currency, and somewhere between 10 and 1,000 times the number of people with an investor mindset than in the last great gold and silver rush. That's somewhere between 1,000 and 100,000 times more currency that will come chasing gold and silver this time around. For the very first time in history, all the world's currencies are fiat, and fiat currencies have always failed. Couple that with the facts that every country on the planet is creating currency on a suicidal scale never before imagined, that every 30 to 40 years the world has an entirely new monetary system, that we are overdue for the transition to a new monetary system right now, and you now have the recipe for a cataclysmic economic event that will be the greatest wealth transfer in history. It can either impoverish you, or it can enrich you beyond your wildest dreams. Knowing this, you think I would take every spare unit of currency I can get my hands on and buy gold. So why don't I? Because silver is undervalued compared to gold, so I buy both. But I buy mostly silver. This is just one of the reasons why I buy gold and silver. Now I'd like to show you how to buy gold and silver. Before you buy an ounce of gold or silver for yourself, I want to send you a free copy of my book, Guide to Investing in Gold and Silver. It tells you everything you need to know about owning gold and silver, including where to store it, the pitfalls to avoid, how this industry works, and which bullion products I buy for myself. I'm proud to say it's the best-selling book on precious metals investing of all time. I've just released a fully updated version, and it's yours absolutely free. All you have to do to get it is follow the link below and tell me where to send it. Enjoy the book, please share this video, and thanks for watching.